Hello YouTube, Fembane here. Uh, I've still got the same crappy um, little thing to say at the beginning. I will be thinking of something new. And as I've already told you, and you've given me some pretty decent suggestions, although none of them took my fancy at the moment. Um, so keep giving them if you're up for that. But on the bright side, did you see my shiny new uh, intro made using Cinema 4D, which is a brilliant piece of software. Um, if you're wondering, I didn't pay for it. I think it costs, it costs about... Two, two grand or something, some ridiculous cost. Two grand for a piece of software. Um, I didn't pay for it. Uh, I did the normal sort of cracking sort of thing. Um, as you see here, I've got two games for you in this commentary. Both of them will be talking about the same sort of thing, which is going against the norm. Um, in both game modes, free for all and search, it is usually seen to be um, advantageous to use a silencer on your weapon, primary weapon at least. Um, to make sure you stay off the enemy UAV, radar, HUD, whatever you want to call it, um, which allows you to stay hidden and kind of choose your kills. Um, whereas here, in this game, I join the game and I'm a thousand and fifty points behind and I win it in four minutes, which, although I'm using a ridiculous gay try-hard setup, um, I think still reasonably impressive. Don't know about you guys. Comment on that fact. Um, I I take abuse quite well, so um, feel free. Um, I'm using Marathon Lightweight Ninja All Pro Spass Extended Mags and UMP Extended Mags. Um, you'll notice that UMP is almost always seen silenced. I'm not using it silenced. And um, what I am doing is going loud, as I like to call it. Um, it means that in normal free for all games, um, you'll look for other people on the radar and you'll generally just come across people to shoot. Going loud, as long as you're a reasonably decent player, allows you to rack up kills far quicker, I find, because um, it encourages the players to come to you. First of all, this is just a basic game design, as in, you'll be showing up on the radar and as they're looking to get kills, they'll be trying to find you. Um, and as long as you have a your a little bit better than the average player, you should be able to win most gunfights, um, which is what these will be. These will be straight up gunfights normally. Um, using the math and and lightweight gives me the speed to take um, take the opponents by surprise. As there's also a psychological aspect to this sort of tactic, in that um, players aren't usually expecting a another player in their game who isn't using a silencer in these sort of game modes to be a decent player. What, what I'm trying to say is in, in most of first person shooters, especially Call of Duty games, um, the more experienced players usually know and find it advantageous to use silencers, um, which is part one of the main reasons why it seems to be advantageous because the experienced players use them. Um, so they're expecting, when they jump around the corner to kill me, they're expecting me to be a, a average player, which I'm usually not, depending on the standards of my gameplay that evening, day, um, and it allows me to take advantage of their not being prepared for a certain situation, because I changed the situation on them at the last m moment. Um, as you see, the game's all literally over, but it will carry on. Um, so I I came back with a, a thousand. Um, 50 point uh, what's it called behind and um, I, I I don't think I would have been able to do that without the uh, sort of encouragement of players coming towards not encouragement, what the fuck am I talking about the um, the amount of players coming to my position because I'm using an unscienced weapon this will work in Black Ops because as, as long as the maps are designed similarly you can normally um, cut yourself down to um, one or two people at a time. So if you saw in the last game, it's ended now, but there were some points where there were four or five people running to shoot me at the same time. As long as I can jump down or quickly go behind cover in a crate, I can reload, take them one out at a time. It might be in quick succession, but there'll be one out. There'll never be more than one on my screen, which is what you plan to do. Same thing here, search and destroy is the most uh, stereotypical 
game type for using a silencer. As you see, I'm using an FMJ AK-47, one of the loudest guns in the game. The only gun I think is louder is the Bat 50 cal, um, maybe the RPD. Um, in this first round, I get a clutch because the players all know where I am. You see there, three players all rush to my position, but they're not expecting me to be as good as I was, and I could take them down. Um, same thing here. Um, I'm using an unsilenced weapon. After I kill this guy, um, this is what I would describe as, uh, well, there's nothing really can describe it as, it, um, as it, well, but let's go, go back to it, as you see here, the guy came to my position, but I knew where he was, because I, firstly, he wasn't using Ninja, so I could hear him, and secondly, he's, um, shows up on my UAV, and this is the last guy here, there's no skill about this kill, it's just a pure power, stop the power FMJ for 7, um, and it shows you that, if you can take players unaware and change what you ex what they not go against the norm, um, then they're not expecting it, and you can take advantage of their mindset. So you can also see this on games such as Battle for Bad Company. As long as you do whatever the opposite is of what the enemy are expecting, um, you can usually succeed. So if the norm in that month is to rush down. Um, the left side of Eureka Harbour and flank round to get B before you take A then if you don't do that, if you just do a straight um, rush at B you've got a reasonable good chance of taking it this is here, I, I completely fail this game, I was on 9 and 0 by the end of this round and I completely screwed up, I made a really bad decision uh, this was the s I was expecting this sniper to be a quickscoper um, and he probably is, he's seen Slap Hand Pro. Um, so he he can quick scope probably quite well. But I was expecting him to be going for the nice um, kills. Well, maybe not nice, but going for the elite, amazing 360 no scope kills, um, which a lot of people nowadays do. Um, so that was wh where you can see that my mindset um, meant that I was killed because I wasn't prepared him to be hardscape me. I'm, I have no problem with him hardscape me. He just out. Well, wasn't really a tactic, but I out, I fought along the line of the stereotype, which kind of stopped me doing well. Um, and enough of this mumbo jumbo now, because that that's probably gone all over a lot of you guys. Uh, not over your heads, but like it's a l little bit bullshitty. Um, same thing here. I was I should have learnt my lesson, but no. I was too hyped up from the clutch and I allowed that guy to hardscape me. Sentep's got him though. Um, so basically the moral of that these two games is um, in all first person shooters I think this will especially apply to Black Ops because it looks as though it'll be quite fast gameplay, fast paced gameplay which will be suit the uh, going loud sort of style tactic that I use quite a lot now. Um, and it's also I find more fun to play because it means that you, you're, if you go into a normal game, you can do well by playing it at your own pace. Um, but it's sometimes more fun to let other people control the pace and still beat them, because it, it feels more rewarding. Um, but obviously, you can't do that every time. Here is the kind of players that can wreck it, because if they are bad enough to to camp that hard. Um, obviously you started moving out, but there's only one guy left. Um, if you're bad enough to uh, camp that hard, you often won't expect... Um, you won't I, you won't do what I expect, and won't do what most uh, players will expect you to do. Meaning that you can't... Um, uh, experienced players can't outthink you because you're not following the norm, which can get in the way of things. And then the going loud tactic sort of allows you to take advantage of experienced players um, and novice players alike because experienced players all think oh that's a um, inexperienced player I'll go and kill him Ex inexperienced players will think oh there's a red dot on my map I'll go and kill it either way as long as you are uh, got reasonably decent reflexes and not very much lag you're going to be set for a reasonably decent chance of winning the firefight um, so that's my kind of basic game in, in advice for today. 
Um, now I'll go on to talk about the montage. I'm editing it at this point while I'm doing the commentary. You might sometimes hear clicks and bumps on the computer. Um, there are two songs in it. I'm not a pro editor, so if you don't like it, I apologise. I've seriously enjoyed editing it. And if you really like it, I will obviously do another one for Black Ops. I'm going to do one anyway, but I may not. Um, I may get someone else to do it. Um, it's also shown me that you can get montage clips in the most random of game types because you see most montage clips either recorded in search and destroy or um, either search and destroy or ground war domination and a lot of my montage clips were recorded in search and destroy but the majority of them were recorded in demolition the ones that are um, not usually sniper clips but also not the big multi kill sort of things um, triple kills and quad sprays, which is the max you can usually get with an assault rifle. Um, well, I'm saying that, but that's what I feel. Um, it is, um, oh here, this is another pro play. There's no point running in with a half-loaded gun. And I wanted to go for something nice, so I tried to do that, and I failed. Um, so I flash him and then just jump in and drop shot him with my G18 Akimbo. So the game's coming to an end, and the montage should be up by the weekend. If you would like another commentary on going loud game style, I will bring out one, but please put that in the comments. Thank you for watching, please rate, comment and subscribe, and goodbye, see you next time.